Listen to me, because this is very important. Some of you are prosperous, and that's what God wants. In fact, the book of 1 John makes this comment. I wish that you would prosper even as your soul prospers. Does God want your soul to prosper? Yes. So what is he saying when he says, I wish that you would prosper even as your soul prospers? Well, as much as I want your soul to prosper, I also want you to prosper physically. That's why God gives us principles on how to prosper. Now, a lot of people are against the prosperity message, but they don't understand what prosperity is. So let me explain what prosperity is. The word prosperity, that word prosper in 1 John, it comes from the Greek word euhodos. Euhodos means good trip. In fact, it's a compound word. It's made up of more than one word. It's made up of two words, the prefix you, which means good, and hodos, which means road, way, or trip. When you combine it together, it means good trip. You want to know what prosperity is? It's not being a millionaire. It's not owning a mansion. It's not driving a new car. Prosperity means you're having a good trip while you're here on this earth. You don't have to be a millionaire to have a good trip. You don't have to live in a mansion to have a good trip. Just because you didn't win the mega millions of 1.6 billion last week doesn't mean that you can't have a prosperous life. My grandfather was prosperous and he didn't get indoor plumbing till I was five years old. My dad did not have electricity until he moved out of the house. He studied by the kerosene lamps. Yeah, that's how they lived. If you would have talked to my grandpa back then, he would have felt like he was prosperous. He was having a good trip. He was making a good living. He was doing uh, what he wanted to do. It was hard work, but he was prosperous. Now, some of you are more prosperous than others. You're having a better trip in today's society because you're taking maybe better vacations or you are able to live in better homes. That's, That's prosperous too, however you say good trip. But I want you to understand something. The more prosperous we become, the easier it is to just give our children things. My mom stayed at home when I was growing up. Later on in life, kids got out of the house. She went to work. She even owned her own jewelry store for a time. But what's kind of interesting is we had a one-income family. My dad worked, but he had five kids. And I learned early on, if I wanted certain tennis shoes, then I was going to have to pay for it. If not, dad was going to buy these type of tennis shoes. And they weren't cool. If I wanted to wear Levi's or Wranglers and not just any old pair of blue jeans, then I was going to have to buy it myself. I was going to have to work for it. But you know, we become so prosperous because we usually have two income families. We have two good jobs. And you know, we want our kids, everyone wants this. We want our kids to have an easier life than what we had. The problem is when you begin to give them everything, The more prosperous you become, the more conscious you have to be of instilling within them an entitlement mentality, because that's what we do when we give things to them. It's just so easy to give it to them. And before long, they just expect it. And then you wonder why they left their bike outside in the rain. You wonder why they didn't make it home from their friends with their shoes on. Where are your shoes? Oh, no. You've been walking barefoot this whole time? Yeah. Well, do you remember when you left? No. (sighs) Gonna have to go buy a new pair of shoes. No. Maybe they'll call DHS and let's go barefoot. (laughs) People, we're we're gonna have a crisis soon, and the reason we're gonna have a crisis is because the mentality of our nation is horrible. We have this entitlement mentality, and pretty soon you've got more, you've got more people r- riding on the wagon than pulling the wagon. Well, how do you teach your children to work? Well, first of all, you don't pay them for chores. Chores is something they do because they're part of the family. We're a family, and nothing's more important than family. 
We work together. We help each other. We make personal sacrifices for the good of the family. And if you're part of this family, you work. Now, if you need extra money, we'll find something. Yeah, but I'm not going to pay you for mowing the yard. You live in this home and you're not paying mortgage on it, son. I am. So you're going to mow the yard and no, I'm not going to pay you for it. But you go over there and ask our neighbors if you can mow their yard. And then you tell your neighbor, I'll pay you to pay them. Think your neighbor's not going to take a few up on that. I would say on one condition, you also weed eat. <laughs> yeah. But people, that's what we need to do as parents. If you don't do that, you're going to have an entitlement mentality. And you're going to have boomerang children. What are boomerang children? After they get their degree, they come home and they want to live in the home. And they're going to work maybe in their degree if they can find the right job. 